it's yours. First and foremost, I would love to pay my deeply gratitude to the Triple Gym and respect to the most vulnerable son that Dr. Kisavan Ratana, acting as Vice Director of President uh, Raja Buddhist University in Phnom Penh, and respect to the most vulnerable Visovichia, President of President Raja Buddhist University in Badambong, and to honorable judges, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning. My name is Jin Jiva, the senior student of President Raja Buddhist University Badambong branch. And today, I am so privileged that I have a great opportunity standing in front of all of you and presenting about one topic that goes by the word, the role of Buddhism in peace building in Cambodia. So, if we talk about the Buddhism, Buddhism is originated from India and now considered as one of the largest religions with around 506 million Buddhist followers around the world. And also, Buddhism it approximately has arrived in Cambodia since at least the 3rd century BC. So since then, Buddhism played an important role in promoting Cambodian prosperity and prestige by conserving the Khmer literacy, tradition, culture, and also pointing out the way for Cambodian citizens to attain the, the happiness by observing the Buddha's teaching. So seeing the vitality of the Buddhism to Khmer people, the culture found that Buddhism is really important for Khmer people. But what are the role of Buddhism in peace building in Cambodia? Ladies and gentlemen, after having done the research, I come up with three main points relating to the topic, the role of Buddhism in peace building in our society. So the first point is that um, the role of Buddhism for reconciliation, and the second is Buddhism for inner peace, and the last one is Buddhism for promoting human rights. So point number one is that Buddhism for reconciliation. Ladies and gentlemen, as we know that our country has experienced through the complexity of good and bad circumstances, and our people have been badly suffered from war, genocide, and especially in the Pol Pot regime that caused more than one million people die of starvation, torture, and also overwork. So, even this regime has gone in 1979, but it doesn't mean that our country has 100% uh, peace at all. Because, you know, there's still violence almost everywhere in our country between Khmer and Khmer. So that's why Buddhist Satra or Peace Walk that was led by some Dr. Maharaj Kosananda. That started from 1992 to 1997. So there are six times of the uh, peace pilgrimage happened in our society after the Khmer Rich regime, right? So the first peace walk is that to heal and also uh, to heal the, the Khmer people from the tragedy that they have missed in the previous regimes, and also to bring them back to live in Cambodia. And the second is to encourage the Khmer people to overcome the fear of political issues and use their right to vote. And the third is to seed the fire between the Khmer Rouge troops and government troops at Bailan province. The fourth is to stop the landmine consumption in our society. And the fifth is to stop the deforestation in Cambodia. And the sixth is to cease the fire between Khmer Rouge and government troops and also to encourage the Khmer people to forgive to the Khmer Rouge troops who realized their mistake. To point number two is that Buddhism for inner peace. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the Ministry of Health and Religion, the approximately 95% of the Khmer people are Buddhists. And Buddhism, through the Buddha teachings, also teach people not to do bad deeds, to do good deeds, and also to purify their mind. So this is mean that Buddhism teach the people to create peace in their mind, um, especially for all the practitioners to the ability to calm and take over control your feeling in order to stay in a peaceful mind. So that's why in Cambodia we have one of the biggest meditation centers that located in Kandar province that we call Vipassana Buddhism, uh, Vipassana Buddhist Meditation Center of Kingdom of Cambodia. You know, luckily in Batumbong we also have one of the meditation center that's located in Trung Mon uh, Mountain that we call Tom Lettica, that this uh, meditation center is, the purpose of this meditation center is to promote the bottom uh, living in peace and have the peaceful mind, the peaceful mind. Also for uh, human need. Ladies and gentlemen, in order like clothes, food, shelter, and also uh, to support for the sickness. No one, uh, no one will create peace at all because 
when he or she staying in starvation, have no shelter and getting sick, uh, getting sick all the time. The last thing is that for the safety. The safety is also uh, defined as a key element for creating peace in our cell. Because you will not feel peace at all because there is still uh, thieves and also chaotic situation in the society as well as the place where you live. The point number three is uh, the role of Buddhism in promoting human rights. According to the Universal Declaration, yes, according to the Universal Declaration on Human Rights in 1948, um, defined that people should deserve their right and freedom. For example, like the right to life, the right to commons, and the right to, uh, to have their own property. So this is really matched to what Buddha have taught to his followers for a long time ago, that we, as the Buddhist followers, as well as the Khmer people, the living things, and also not to steal someone else's property, not to commit the sexual misconduct, and not telling lies to someone else, and the last one is not to drink the alcohol. So if you are observing the five precepts, meaning you are playing an important role in peace building in our society, especially through the nation reconciliation, and also to cultivate the Khmer people to live in with inner peace, and also to promote the human right in order to make Khmer people live with harmony and show their compassion to each other. So that's why some like Brahma Hankosanan said that great compassion uh, make a peaceful heart, a peaceful heart make a peaceful person, a peaceful person make